This is Siren, your food critic for The Commoner. So today I ate at a place called Trendy Dumpling. It's um Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas. The atmosphere is really nice. I think it's like a good first date place or like one year anniversary couple or just like girls hanging out, catching up. It's a, re it's a really nice um ambience at nighttime. It wasn't very crowded at all. I went around like 9, 8.39. It wasn't crowded at all. Um, so because it wasn't crowded, I would expect faster and more attentive customer service. The customer service was very, very subpar and they had more than enough staff um, versus the number of people. They were just sitting around just like looking for something to do and there was something to do and they weren't doing it. So there was that and um, I ordered Singapore noodles. The Singapore noodles comes with beef and uh, shrimp and so I requested shrimp only which they did provide. Um, I asked for it to be spicy because a lot of times when I get Singapore noodles from other Asian um, cuisines they're not spicy at all and I end up adding like cayenne pepper or whatever spicy that I have around well when I got these Singapore noodles let me tell you they were so spicy I couldn't take more than three bites my nose was running my eyes were running I was just like oh my gosh so apparently their Singapore noodles they fix correctly they already come with the spice so if you ask for spice it's gonna come extra spicy I didn't know that theirs they actually cook it properly and it automatically comes with a spice so don't ask for extra spice they were very nice they um, remade it for me with less spice um, when they remade it, it really didn't have any spice at all, which was fine with me because my mouth was still on fire <laughs> from the first order. So the spice that was in my mouth made, balanced everything out. Um, and then there's the spring rolls. Morgan loves the fried uh, spring rolls. I didn't get to get any. He ate them all. So I placed the second order. Now, spring rolls are on the menu as an appetizer. So whenever you order appetizer, it's something quick. It's usually fried, and it comes out right away. It took probably 20 minutes. Like, I got my dinner before I got the uh, fried spring rolls, and I had to ask for the second order like two or three times. At first, I was thinking, like, just forget it. Like, don't even get it. But I'm like, no, I'm going to get home, and I'm going to want those fried spring rolls. I'm going to want them as a little nice crispy snack, right? And so they finally brought them. They were warm on the outside, and then when you bit into it, ice cold. As I stuck my finger in the middle, ice cold. And I was just like, what? I waited, like, all this time just for this? Like, I'm literally, like, to-go box waiting, and I am just had to, like, stand up and flag somebody down to pay my check. It was no sense of um, anticipation at all. Like, if somebody asks for a to-go box... You probably want to go ahead and get their check too. Like these are like common cues in dining that, you know, you should be on top of it. And again, not crowded at all. There was like so many people staff. There could have been one person to every table that was seated. That's how not crowded it was. So this restaurant on a scale of one to five with five being the greatest customer service gets a one um the food i give it a two um because they were kind enough to make it over for me after i requested it be spicy but even with that it didn't have flavor spice is not a substitute for flavor you still have to have flavor and singapore noodles are commonly known for like a curry flavor and it was bland like when you take away the spice it was just bland so I give the food a two, especially with the spicy spring rolls being cold on the inside. Like, how can you mess that up? So I won't be going back there again. They're nice, but they're not professional because they need to be on it. They need to be on it. So this is my review. This is your food critic for the comment. I do not do white tablecloth, fine dining, expensive wine, 
restaurants i do those little hole in the walls those restaurants you pass by every day on your way to work church school and you're wondering is it worth your time is it worth your dime oh and the cost of the, the total cost of the meal was 22 dollars and change like subscribe and share thanks for watching